So what I was puzzling over was: is there an ethic that we all share in our non-philosophical moments? You know, um, and it, it certainly isn't any of this this formal philosophical stuff. And it dawned on me that there's a very distinct ethic. We are partly utilitarian. We make our social decisions by reference to the general welfare. And yet, we are also partially deontological in that we protect the individual's nature from being submerged by the general welfare, even when it's highly beneficial. Those are rights, you know? And it dawned on me, if I could show uh, a line, a logical line from people to animals, which is relatively easy because they, there are no traits that exempt animals from moral concern, you know, then people would have to apply, uh, appropriately modified, or as philosophers say, mutatis mutandis, the, um, the concepts we use for people to animals. There was a beautiful moment in, in 81 or 80. The Canadian government asked, they heard, I don't know how the hell they, they, they don't know about anything, but they, they, they asked me to, my book probably was just out, you know, on animal rights. And they said, would you do a, a symposium for the various agencies in, in the Canadian government that deal with animals? So they had the minister of, forests and the minister of oceans and this and that you know and the ag minister and uh, it was really cute uh, in, in one of the discussion sessions they said you know what you really need before you get into this stuff is a bill of rights for animals just like we have the bill of rights for people and then things can be deduced from that i don't remember who said it i wish i could thank him uh but but it, it was of course now, you know, I didn't write a Bill of Rights for animals, but I came to the conclusion that human rights are based on what are the essential features of human beings. Speaking beings, believing beings, property-owning beings, religious beings, if you like, you know. And that there was an essence to every kind of animal, which is, of course, very unpopular in an age of molecular biology, but so much the worse for molecular biology. Um, you know, there's, there's what I call a telos. Uh, there's a pigness to a pig, a dogness to a dog. And if you really look carefully at the animal's nature, it isn't pleasure and pain. It's much more complicated than that. It's their telos. They want to do what they're built to do.